Hi, I'm Tim Schinnerberger, and I'm a sculptor with uh, getting ready to do a big one-man show uh, with the Legacy Gallery in September, this coming September, and I'm just putting the finishing touches on this piece. Uh, probably one of my bigger projects as far as number of animals that I've done in quite a while. This piece uh, I've been thinking about for about 15 years and I've just I've seen literally hundreds and hundreds of elk in my life thousands and it's just an idea I've had for a long time you know the cows they're doing their thing they're natural you know eat and sleep and watch over the herd and the bulls are all oblivious to everything because they're in the rut and so a lot of times you know like maybe something will come along with some wolves or something and spook the elk the cows will take off and the bull he's still bugling he doesn't know what's going on he's just he's talking to all the other bulls in the area and, and so that was kind of my idea was to create this movement um, that flow all kept these really beautiful shapes when they run that, that kind of camel like gait and so anyway when I'm I, at first I'm thinking about the big idea and that's how I work I work big shapes all the silhouettes and I finally end up with the very smallest things, you know, the eyes, the ears, the noses, all that type of thing. So I work big to small. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking about what's going to create interest and look um, natural, uh, create flow. I almost think about music when I'm designing all these legs. Everything is thought out. I'm thinking the muscle, bone, hair, volume, the play of light. You know, I'm thinking about those accents. I want the shadows to create a really nice uh, pattern, but not to be so sharp. And I don't want a lot of sharp drawing down here, pulling your eye into the base. I want it to support the elk. Finding ways to make the clay create that illusion and create variety and interest within the piece. That's what I'm thinking about. And so what, how the technique evolves really is natural. It doesn't, it's not, I don't sit and think, well, I want to, certain type of stroke it's it just happens and i think that's where uh, being more of a naturalist impressionistic type artist um, we separate ourselves from say the photorealist the photorealist is wanting to capture all the details i'm more trying to capture the essence and um, create the feeling you would get when you actually see that scene